building or growing your luxury collection, have you ever found yourself thinking, gosh, I wish I could replace this one piece in my collection with a nicer one because I bought it in not great condition, because it was a great value, or I didn't know any better, or oops, I damaged it and it can't be fixed, so I wanna replace it. Well, that is what we are doing today. I'm replacing one of the Louis Vuitton handbags in my collection with the exact same bag, but nicer. Stay tuned to see what I got. YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. I mentioned maybe you purchased something that wasn't in great condition but you got a great price on it or you didn't know better about the condition or maybe you did something or someone else did something that damaged your bag. Well all of those apply to what's in this box today or at least apply to the bag I'm replacing which I'll show you in a minute. I'm looking for my little box cutter because I want to open this up and let's get started here. This replaces a bag that was one of the first Louis Vuitton bags that I purchased. One of my early luxury bag purchases. It was quite vintage at the time, and then I damaged it. Damage that was beyond repair. It could have been, mm -hmm. uh, let's show you the bag first and then I'll tell you more about that. And it sort of could have been fixed, but why I decided not to do that and just buy a new bag instead. It just came like this. I purchased this from the Real Real, and it comes in a Real Real dust bag, even if it comes with the original dust bag, which this does. It still comes with the the real real dust bag. Now I don't mind not having that because I don't like their dust bags, but it's just very strange. The bag is in here. There's nothing else in it. I thought that this was in such a big box because they had the bag open and stuffed and had it nice, but oh no, it is just folded in here, which hopefully didn't damage it. That's disappointing. Anyway, let's look at this. Um, Louis Vuitton dust bag, obviously one of the older ones. Open this up and should be pretty obvious right away what it is. It is the Louis Vuitton Noe GM. As I try to unstraighten it here, they've just smashed it in here. Also, it has quite a bad odor that I think is cigarettes. Ugh. It's quite strong. I smelled it as soon as I opened the box. I'm gonna put some stuffing in here. Oh my gosh, the inside is, ew. It's not stained, it's just, there's a lot of lint and stuff at the bottom. I mean, that can come out. It's not that hard to clean it, but it'd be nice if the real real would do basic things like that. Whew, this smell is really bad. I'm, I don't know, I'm debating whether or not to even keep it because of all these things. I know I can get the smell out because I've done that before with other items. I had another item that smelled really bad of cigarettes and I was able to get that smell out, but it takes a long time, like months and months and months. And I do it with charcoal packs, just charcoal packs and time. Um, I would, this is so bad, I would put it in a garbage bag and then fill that with all the charcoal packs I have. Actually, I need to buy more. I keep charcoal packs in all of my luxury bags just to help absorb moisture, anything that might be in the air like that. Need to buy more anyway, but wow. It's hard to even stand next to it. <sighs> Debating though, keeping it because I got such a good deal on it. I'll have to look up the price for you in a bit. I'm a little flustered and forgetting what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Okay, I want to stuff the bag so it's easier to show you, and then I'm gonna show you the bag. So let me go do that. All right, I got it stuffed. I'm gonna set it aside over here, um, as far away as I can get it because, ew. And I'm gonna pull out my original Noe and show you that and tell you the story behind this kind of quickly, because if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you already know this story. I'm gonna come closer so you can see the damage on it. This is one of my first luxury bags. I purchased it vintage. You can see that it's an older bag. It has a darker patina on it. And it was in great shape. One of the things that you wanna look for if you're looking for a Noe is the bottom and the vachetta and how clean is it. A lot of them have really bad staining. And I got this for a great price. I don't remember now what I paid because it was a long time ago, but it was probably three or $400, not bad at all. I was experimenting with 
cleaning products at the time, and I didn't know the correct process for cleaning because not all the videos on the internet have the correct process. And I started cleaning this first before I conditioned it, and this leather was so old and quite dry that it needed to be conditioned first, and I just didn't know that. So due in part to that, and due in part to the fact that I used a magic eraser on it, which you're not supposed to do on Vachetta, that <laughs> ruins your bag. I ruined it. Or at least I ruined the Vachetta in several places. Let me find the worst spots here to show you. Like right in here, I hope that's coming across, the leather's completely cracked across in several places. And then all around this top trim, there is cracking. And none of that was there before I cleaned it. This bag was in really great shape before I got my hands on it. I still love it and I've still carried it, but I've also thought it'd be nice to have one in better condition. Now you can have the leather replaced on these bags. To my understanding, the current price would be 600 something dollars to replace all the leather on this particular bag, which is less than what I paid for the stinky one I just got. But the reason I don't wanna replace the leather on this is because it's a vintage bag. The date code, it's on this side. The date code is down on this strip here here, right under the buckle. So when you replace the leather, you lose the original date code. I didn't want to lose that. That was important enough to me to have the date of the bag and verify authenticity and how vintage it was and all that. And I forget what year it was now. So that's why I didn't want to replace the leather. And I thought, well, it'd be nice to get a new one or a nicer pre-loved one. I thought about buying a new one. When I was looking at them, they were about $1,800, which is so much more than what I paid for this. And I didn't know if I wanted to really spend that much. Plus, I really didn't know if I wanted the brand new Vachetta. I tend to prefer the honeyed Vachetta and you get that when you buy pre-loved. On the pre-loved market it can be difficult to find these bags in great shape because of there being so much Vachetta on them. The price of these in the condition that I was looking for is probably $1,400 to on up. I was just never at a point where I wanted to drop that kind of dough on that bag, on a bag I already had, on a bag that even though this is damaged I was still wearing it. But then along came this bag, stinky pants. This bag, let's take a peek at it, ignore the smell. You're Well, you're very lucky, you don't have to smell it. But I mean, look at this Vachetta. Look at it compared to this. It's quite a bit lighter, right? None of it's cracked. It's in great shape. Just give you a little spin of it there and then take a look at the bottom. It's super clean. The strap is very clean. The inside is clean except for the lint and dirt and stuff that's in there. And guess how much this bag was? It popped up on the real reel and I, I have to set it aside. It is just too smelly to have it right next to me. It's giving me a headache. I'm sensitive to smells. It was under a thousand dollars. It was either 700 something or 900 something. Pretty sure it was 700 something. And I thought, um, yes please. And you know, I looked at all the pictures. It didn't say anything about a smell. It didn't say anything about all the dirt inside. And again, both of those are things that I can fix, but I don't know. I need to um, consider my options here and figure out what I want to do because I do want to have this bag in nicer shape. Is it worth ultimately dealing with the smell? It probably is. I can get it out in a few months and then I have it for the rest of my life, you know, and I can clean the inside. It's not that big a deal. I also just noticed whoever had it last, there's a little bead on it here. See the bead on the tie? On mine, I have this little pull that I got on Etsy and those aren't sold anymore. That, that seller doesn't make that particular one with the LV canvas on it. And then I was also thinking I could sell this one for a few hundred dollars at some point and get a little money back on that and then I would have gotten that bag even cheaper. It's it's just disappointing when something like that happens. That should have been disclosed. I feel kind of blah now. It's not the best way to end a Louis Vuitton unboxing, but it is what it is, right? Hello everyone, Autumn from the future here with an update on this bag. I contacted the Real Real about it. I let them know that it had a an absolutely unbearable cigarette odor that I did not want to deal with and that would take forever to get out. They wrote me back and did send me the return form and a return label for it so that I could return it. So why is it still here? Well, since I couldn't be anywhere near it and I didn't want it in my room stinking up anything, I put it out in our big living space, which is quite big. It's it's this one big open room with the kitchen and dining and living room and all that together. We have an open floor plan here. And I left it open to air out and the dust bag I left open to air out. And a few days later I went over and sniffed it. I noticed that the smell had dissipated quite a lot. So that's when I started second guessing whether I should really send it back because I've been looking for one of these for a while and this was a great deal and it's great condition other than that smell. So while I was still in the return window, I filled it up, not to the top, but 
maybe halfway up with charcoal packs. If I remember, I will link some of these below. These are just from Amazon and they're just these little canvas bags that are full of charcoal. And these are to absorb odors and moisture and different things like that. I've used them before. I've tried many different things for smells and the charcoal packs are what I feel like has worked best for me. And I've left this and at the time I'm filming this, it's probably been about a month since I first got this bag. And even maybe two weeks ago, it doesn't have that smell anymore. Um, I still haven't carried the bag yet just because I haven't. I have a lot of bags and I just haven't chosen this one yet. But I am ready to start carrying it and obviously at this point I'm keeping it. I'm really happy about that. That worked out well ultimately and it's another example of how even when an item on the real reel is marked as final sale, if you get it and there's something wrong with it that was not disclosed, in my experience, they have always been willing to take it back. So I appreciate that about them, especially since their listings are so horrible. Good news. And now back to the other autumn. And I guess that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.